walk around family welcome back to another video this is how you know i love you guys it's raining out here but we getting this walk around done today we have a 2024 honda pilot trail sport in radiant red metallic two with a black interior now i know you guys are tired of seeing the diffuse sky blue pearl in the trail sport which is why i purposely waited for me to get another color to show you guys i did sell this one so this color is not available so i know a lot of people are gonna be like hey let me get the red this is the first red that we've got and it looks beautiful in this color now i know the rain doesn't really show the color off to justice but but just look at that so i'm gonna drop a video in how the color looks in the sun but beautiful color one of my favorites on the trail support the first thing you're gonna notice is gloss black grill all blacked out this portion up here all blacked out as well you have the full LED headlights, so high beam, low beam, turn signals, daytime running lights, and you also have LED fog lights. Now, you do get this gloss black portion here in the cutout and the bumper. Depending on what trim level you go with, it will be a different color. Down below, you have some flat black and some silver to kind of break it up a little bit. Huge Honda emblem that also house your radar for your Honda sensing, and you do have a front camera because you do get the full camera all around on the trail support. And of course, you have the orange Trail Sport badge stamped into the grill. Let you know this is not a regular Pilot. I have the rugged Pilot. Now, taking a look on the windshield, wider windshield than the previous Pilot. Updated camera, so it's more wider um, for the Honda sensing camera. What's interesting on the wiper is they didn't use the new Civic wipers where the nozzle is on the wiper. The nozzle is actually still tucked underneath here to spray on the windshield. So that's interesting to see. Taking a look at the side profile here, you do get the 18 inch wheels and they're like the shark gray uh, finish. And this is the best looking rim on a Pilot in my opinion. Look at them, they're nice. I love the 18s and I love that it's the smaller rim with a more tire wall. So it's still smooth to drive and you're less likely to pop these tires or to curb your wheel because you don't have those lower profile tires with the bigger rims. One of my favorites and specifically to the trail sport the trail sport also has an inch lift compared to the other trim level so a little bit more ground clearance and you do have skid plates underneath the trail sport too so if you are off-roading protect underneath the vehicle a little uh flat black right here and this actually goes around the hole and you even have a little body design right here that kind of cuts through and gloss black everything so gloss black mirror caps around the windows is black gloss black door handles Gloss black of uh, roof rail, everything's blacked out. Beautiful look. Down here is all blacked as well. And you do have power folding mirrors, so if I unlock it, they will open for you, which is nice. And that's only on, I believe, the Elite and Trail Sport, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think the Touring has the power folding mirrors. We'll definitely check that in the, um, the brochure. But coming along to the rear, because I'm getting soaked out here, so I can't take too long. Um, one of my favorite parts as well. So. You do have the shark style antenna, body colored, clear LED third brake light, exposed wiper. This is, I think, the only chrome on, well, besides the H in the front, but there's only chrome on the trail support, so you can black that out if you wanted to. You do have LED brake lights, and I believe your turn signal in reverse or regular bulbs. So it's combination, spelled out pilot in the rear. You have your trail support badge that you know. You got the rugged pilot, and all wheel drive is blacked out. I don't know why they didn't black out the H but it is what it is trail support do come with a hitch and if you want the harness like the wiring you have to buy that separate and that's why this piece is right here you can get the the wiring but keep that in mind so you still have to add the harness if you want to do that and also you get a spare tire and it's a full size spare tire so if you get any other trim level besides the trail support you get a donut but the trail support gets you the full size which is pretty cool. You see some parking sensors down in the rear as well. This is the key for the 24 Pilot. So it's the new Honda key. You have lock, unlock, remote start, power trunk, panic, and there's a built-in key inside. And you have smart entry. Earlier you saw me unlock it by putting my hand in the door handle. It'll unlock for you. And trail support only comes in black interior. So if you want any other interior color, you're gonna have to get a different trim level because this is the only interior color you get but i'm gonna quickly actually jump in here because i'm getting soaked get in here turn this guy on get the heat going i didn't expect it to rain today i didn't check the weather so we're gonna start off with the door over here and you're gonna see you got some gloss black up here kind of like a dark this is usually like uh like silver but it's like a dark silver up here that's actually really nice 
Up here is not really that soft like how they usually are. Right here is soft, armrest is soft, but that's interesting. You have power windows front and back, and power locks, power mirror, and you can fold in the mirror if you ever want, and two position memory seats as well. It's only on the driver door, and you have some storage there, cup holder storage there, some more storage in there, orange stitching there. And speaking of orange stitching, that's kind of the theme of the trail sport. So you have orange stitching all over. And this material is actually a synthetic leather material. So Honda know that you're going to be dirtying up this interior. So they have a more durable interior on the trail sport versus the EXL, the Touring, and the Elite. Those got like the more premium leather, especially the Elite. But the trail sport give you a durable fake leather. It'll be a little bit more harder to scratch this thing up compared to the other trim levels. But the arm stitching is literally everywhere. So you have it on the steering wheel. You even have it on the dash here. You have it on the seats. You got a little bit of everywhere. On the we left. are going to start off with the left side. So here you have one air vent that's the same shape as a taillight. You can close it off or let in air. You have power tailgate here. You have a D wiper zone. So when you turn this feature on, it will actually warm up the bottom of your windshield to help release the uh not help release but help kind of yeah release your wiper so if it's snowy and your windshield is kind of frozen or there's a lot of snow on it it'll kind of help melt to free the wiper it's actually a cool feature you have your traction control on and off blank button there and you do have your hood lat release down here Let's show you guys hood release is right there and you don't have a, a gas cap release because you push in the actual gas cap itself to release it so on the trail sport, you do get the half digital and half analog cluster. If you want the full digital, Elite is the only trim level to give you that. But still a nice design. So the right side is always going to be a speedometer. And I don't need the wipers on. The left side is going to be digital. And on the left side, it's very customizable. So for an example, I'm going to go through the menus. And you use the scroll wheel and this home button to kind of cycle through the menus here. So let me zoom in there for you guys real fast. But you have uh, range and fuel which is going to show you what you're averaging and how many miles you have to your tank. Below that, you have speed and time. You have audio, so what you're listening to. You have phone connection, so you can see your contacts, speed dials, recent calls, which is cool. You have navigation. If you don't have a destination in, it will be a compass. And you have driver attention, so are you awake enough to drive? If you actually fill up those bars, the pilot will give you like a message to pull over and actually take a break. You have your all-wheel drive torque distribution as well so you can see between the wheels which wheel is having more power than the other because this does have the ivtm4 and this is the second generation of the all-wheel drive system for the pilot so the elite and the trail sport get the newer second generation if you get a touring exl sport lx then you have the previous pilots all-wheel drive system which is still a nice system but this newer generation does have uh, the ratio is a little bit different i believe on the trail sport and elite and the torque is a little bit different as well too and how they split the power. But I, I might make a separate video on that so you guys can be a little bit more familiar. You can see who got their seatbelts on. So right now I'm being a bad noodle because I don't have my seatbelt on. You have your oil maintenance, so your oil life, and you have tire pressure. And uh, why is it not showing the third one? Oh, <laughs> I, was like, where, where? I was like, where is the third one? All right, tire pressure there. You have your safety support. So this is important because this is how you turn off some of your safety features. So road departure mitigation. You have blind spot information system, low speed braking control, parking sensor system. You have collision mitigation, and you can turn in any of them on and off through that menu there. You can have nothing where it shows nothing, just your tachometer. You have your brightness. You can adjust automatically and gauge display. So here you can actually decide which uh, setting you want to turn on and off. My fingers are still cold. I'm over here. I can't even, I can't even feel the button. This <laughs> fingers over here frozen. And then you have warning where it'll tell you if your trunk is open, the hood is open, the door is open, or, you know, something, something's going on. Low tire pressure. Something is going on as well. But I'm going to keep it on range and fuel. And we're going to zoom back out of there. On the middle portion here, you have your gas gauge. You have your miles. You still have a digital speedometer, even though you have an analog speedometer. So you have both, which is cool. And it will actually read the speed limit sign and put it on the screen right there for you too, which is cool. Usually on the Pilot, you will have like your temperature on one side and gas on the other side. And since you don't technically have a temperature gauge anymore, if the engine is cold, it will just have a little cold symbol. And if the engine is hot, it will have the, the hot symbol instead of having a gauge. Now, taking a look at the steering wheel, leather wrapped, 
on the trail sport, you see the arm stitching inside. Feels good to the hands. The 24 Pilots all have the 3.5 V6 standard and uh, it's paired with the 10 speed automatic transmission. So you can manually shift if you wanted to or downshift or upshift with the paddle shifters. I'm sure most pilot owners are not even gonna use that, but it may come in handy one day, you never know. You do have um, your seek buttons here. So pre next track and previous for your audio, your volume toggles there. Home button for that display I was just going through. You do have your toggle to go through your options. You have voice commands. So if you hold it and you have an Apple, it's Siri. If you have an Android, it's Google. But um, depending on whichever, I guess, phone you have, you have either or. I don't think Honda has a built-in um, voice command anymore. Oh, it does. It still do. Never mind. It's over here listening to me. So you still have the built-in um, voice command too. But if you hold it, it'll be Siri or, and, or uh, Google. But I think the Civic don't have that no more. So that might be going away, the built-in the built -in, um, voice command. And down below, for weather like this, you do have heated steering wheel. So before I jumped into the blue one, I used the remote start. And it was so cold that the pilot automatically turned on the heated steering wheel, turned on the heated seats, and the, the heat, I mean, the temperature was still 70, I think about 72 degrees as always going to set to. But it, at least it started warming up for me automatically because it sensed that outside is cold, which is really cool that you have that. And on the right side, you have some of your cruise control and your Honda sensing features. So this guy right here is to turn on the cruise control. You can cancel, resume, set. This is for your adaptive cruise control. So you can adjust the distance from the cars in front of you while you're using your cruise control. And you have lane keep assist as well. You can also turn this feature off where it does not automatically slow down for you and have the traditional cruise control by if you have it on you have to hold it and then it'll say cruise mode and when you're in cruise mode you set your speed and it stays at the speed that you're going at if somebody get in front of you it will not automatically slow down slow down for you if you hold it and you put it back into acc mode now that's adaptive cruise control so based on the level that you have set so you have let me zoom in and show you guys you have three two one and four four is the furthest one is the closest the pilot will automatically slow down for you based on the distance from the cars in front of you pretty much if that car goes away then he goes back to the same speed that you're going so it's cool that you have the option to go back back old school um also back to the heated steering wheel so i believe it only heats up this portion right here if i'm not mistaken i don't know if it's the whole wheel i think it's just this, this this portion over here on the sides behind the steering wheel here is your headlight control so you have off auto parking light and on and you also have fog lights control here so you have off and on for the fog lights if you leave it on auto fog lights automatically come on when the headlights come on which which makes sense you have auto high beams too so if you're driving somewhere with no street lights the high beams will come on automatically if the pilot you gotta be over driving over 25 miles per hour too by the way but if there's a car coming the high beams turn off if you get behind someone the high beams will turn off automatically don't gotta mess with it and on the right side is for your wipers so you have off intermediate and low high for the for the front wipers and then you can twist this guy intermediate and on for the wiper in the rear now you if you want automatic uh rain sensing windshield wipers i believe you have to go up to the elite to get that guy but at least you have intermediate and low high there coming along to the touchscreen display so this is something that is very controversial a lot of customers are complaining that the nine inch display is too small. In my opinion, this is just a right size, it's nice. I know this is the same thing that's in the Civic, the CRV, they, like all the Honda's getting this screen. And I know the Accords just got the newer wide 12 inch display. That's probably what's coming soon, but for right now, especially if you're comparing this to the previous Pilot, this is a nice upgrade because Honda is always upgrading from their last car. They're not really even worrying about everyone else. They're just worrying about upgrading from their last vehicle. So when you get the nine inch display, you do get wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. If you get an LX or a Sport, you get the smaller seven inch display and you have to plug your phone in for CarPlay or Android Auto. The Trail Sport, you have a phone, FM, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, satellite radio still, because the cord I think got rid of satellite radio. So this might be going away soon, I don't know. Trip computer, USB, you have your general settings, your vehicle settings, AM, system updates, you have Honda Link, and Honda updated the Honda Link for the pilots now too. So I'm working on a separate video on Honda Link. I may put that on the channel. Stay tuned for that. Cool feature. You can start your car from your phone, lock your car from your phone. Everyone's kind of having a, a similar subscription thing with their vehicles. You have a built-in compass. 
So if you're kind of old school, you want to see a compass, you can have that USB. And you have a display mode and cabin talk. So cabin talk will allow you to talk to your rear passengers through the speakers. So for example, I can say, which I want, which I want to eat. And you probably can hear my uh, voice echoing back there. Which I want to eat. You hungry? We're not doing McDonald's. So <laughs> you can talk to your kids back there and stuff like that. It's actually a, a cool feature. And you still have physical buttons, even though the touchscreen display, the home, back, volume, and the uh, next track and previous is all physical buttons. Everything else here is on a touchscreen, and you can customize here. So you can grab satellite radio if you want. You can grab anything, bring it down here, and then it'll it'll pretty much replace whatever is there. Or you can even move it around on the screen here too. So very customizable. I like it. Easy to use. I'm going to show you guys the backup camera because this has the newer. Actually, this is I think this is the first Honda so far to have the 360 camera. We don't have it in no other car but the Pilot right now. And it's actually a good quality too. I wish the newer Civics had this updated camera because it looks it, it looks very similar to the previous camera but it looks a lot more clearer and less grainier than the civic and crv but the trail sport and the elite are the only two models to get the 360 so you see how you can see all the way around and then you can see behind you so this is a wide angle and then this is looking straight back and if i put it back in the park and on the right stock right here you have a camera button so if you press that It'll also bring up the 360, but now I'm viewing the front of the pilot. And if you change it here, you can view the sides as well. So you can see the wheels, which is really cool. Now, this the Touring does not have this feature, and a lot of people don't like that the Touring doesn't have it. But you got to remember, the Touring is an upgrade from EXL, and then this Trail Sport is an upgrade from Sport. It, it can be very confusing, but when we go over the trim walk, I'm going to show you guys pretty much the difference but yeah like it's actually pretty cool and one you can do too is you can press the, the camera button once and press it again it'll automatically go to the wheel without you touching the screen so you can do that without, while you're driving which is cool also if you're driving pulling forward and you get close to something in front of you it'll automatically turn on the front camera to show you that you're about to hit something or you're close to something same thing when you're backing up so it's a really nice feature and speaking of the cameras i forgot to even mention to you guys so you have a camera icon up here and then you have a camera icon right here the pilot gives uh, a washer for the front and rear camera so if you turn it on i wonder if i could put it in reverse if it'll show so i'm gonna i'm gonna pull this to this camera right here see it cleans the camera and it's for that's for the back and that's for the front which is really cool so that's a nice touch that honda added and it's like a pressurized water that hit the glass to help get dirt and stuff off the camera right below the touchscreen display you have your push one start there you have your vents there hazard there Additional storage, they brought this back. The previous pilot did not have this, but the original pilot did. And this pilot has a lot of little design cues from the original uh, generation pilot, which is really cool. And the Civic has that new vent piece that goes across the whole dash. But for the pilot, Honda was like, pilot's getting his own thing. So I like that they didn't do that. It is something different than all of the other cars. And right below that, you have your climate controls. Everything is not touchscreen. You still have buttons. It's not on the screen. You have knobs. Very easy to use. You have heated seats, high, medium, and low. Same thing for the passenger. And if you want cooling or ventilating seats, you have to get an Elite. And that's one trim level that gets that. If you get a Touring, same thing, just heat, heated front seats, and that's pretty much it. So you have a tri-zone climate control. So driver, rear passenger, and passenger can have three different temperatures. Turn the sink off. Oh, well, passenger could freeze if they wanted to, and you and the rear passengers can have your own temperature but if you hit rear settings then you can make it 75 degrees back there or 74 degrees for them 58 for the passenger you can stay nice and toasty on high but if you hit sync you're controlling all three modes so you have your different modes here so you can change from feet only face only um you have auto climate control which is cool ac on and off front defrost this is your fan speed on and off for the whole system you have your heated back glass and side mirrors which is nice and then your air circulation and the sync button you saw me messing with earlier. Down below, you can turn off the rear vent, so all the air just comes to the front. And you have rear settings, and you can lock the rear settings where if you have little ones, they can't mess with the climate control buttons. And when I get back there, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Right below that, you have a little cubby. I don't know what you put in here. It's not a smartphone going to fit in here. Smartphones are way too big nowadays. You might put some, I don't know, some gum in there or receipts or something. You do have USB-A and USB-C. If you want to use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, 
are wired, you have to plug in the USB A. The USB the USB C is only for charging, right? Faster charging, power outlet. USB A is actually going away pretty soon. So I think the cord of them have USB A's anymore. So you're gonna see that gone real soon. You have a wireless phone charger, and down here is like a huge cubby. You can put one phone charging here and one phone just sitting right there. And here's your transmission selector. Now this is a lot different than what some people are used to, especially if you used to having a shifter. But you hold the brakes and then you need to push for park. Reverse is a different orientation because Honda want to make sure is if you're doing this without looking, you know which one you're pushing. So reverse is pulled back this way, like pull back this way. The rest of them you push down like a button. So you have neutral, you have drive, and then if you push it again, it'll put the transmission into a sport mode. So you'll see what gear you're in right here. So you have S, I hit drive again, put it back to drive. So sport mode for the transmission will, the transmission will shift a little bit more sportly. You know, you have more spirited drive, but I'm sure, you know, you're driving your, your kids or, you know, you're dropping off your, your passengers. You're not gonna be flying in this thing, but you can if you wanted to. And right below that, you have drive mode. So really important because the trail sport give you multiple modes. So you have, let me see, you have nor, you have sport mode. Actually, let me zoom in there. There we go. I don't know why the camera just don't want to behave today. So you have sport, you have normal, you have econ, you have snow mode, trail mode, sand mode, and tow mode. So you see how some of the modes, they turn off the traction control automatically. So pretty much what the passport will do. Oh, I didn't mean to zoom in that much. That's why I'm like, why is this thing so close? There we go. <laughs> I, was trying, I, was trying to, I was trying to do that. But anyways. Um, depending on what mode you put it in, it'll, it will change how the transmission behaves, your throttle response based on what setting you put it in. But normal is pretty much fine. You have a downhill cruise control. So when you turn this on, you can go downhill up to 12 miles per hour and you can set what speed you want to go downhill in. You have the engine auto stop feature here. Everyone hates, hate this feature when you come to a stop and the engine temporary turn off. Honda's a little bit different. It won't just turn off every time. It depends on your inside temperature, your outside temperature, how much pressure you have on the brakes. It's a lot of like, um, it's a lot of variables before it works. But let's say you, but if you wanna turn it off, you have the button right there. You have electronic parking brake, which is new for this generation pilot, because the previous pilot still had the foot pedal, but now you have electronic. And then since the Mercy brake is electronic, you have brake hold. So let's pretend you're in the drive-through and you're in drive. Your seatbelt has to be clipped in for this feature to work and you hold the brakes, you turn the feature on. While you're in drive, you can let go of the brakes and the pilot won't move. And your third brake lights, well, your brake lights will be on behind you so the person behind you know it's on. And if you give it gas, it will let you move up. But once you stop, the pilot will keep holding your brakes so you don't move until you turn that feature back off. If you're sitting there with the feature on, I think up to like 10 minutes, it will actually turn off and turn on the emergency brake because the pilot probably don't even know why you need the brake hold for so long. But you do got that. You have some cup holders here, simple. I like how only this portion is gloss black, not the whole thing. Like, I like how there's minimal gloss black in here. Like, your climate control is gloss black, but everything else is, um, okay, you got soft. You got soft touch here. I don't really go over this part in the pilot, but yeah, this is soft as well. This is soft as well. And then you have hard plastic around the, the touchscreen display. Now, this piece right here, it, it's soft, but it's a little bit more firm. Not as soft as the dash just now, but get the arm stitching in there open this guy up no plugins or nothing just storage so you have a little rubber mat down there a little keychain holder keychain holder i mean coil uh i meant coin holder on the keychain but you got that in there and you do have a lockable glove box here and it is damp so when you open it slowly opens it's not lined but a di uh, decent size in there you can put a lot of goodies in there as well and then like i said earlier i love this storage for the passenger or for the driver throw whatever you want in there now we're going to take a look at the rear view mirror and this is auto dimming rear view mirror you have home link built in so you can have up to three garage openers or a gate or it's, it's universal so that's actually pretty cool and then this button turn on and off to auto dimming for the rear view mirror and you do have your lighting here now they, it is led so that's an upgrade from the previous pilot a lot brighter at night and you do have your um switch here if you want the lights to come on when the door comes on you do have a sunglass holder slash who do that Cheeto mirror. Who do that Cheeto? So you don't, <laughs> you don't got to turn your head while you're driving. You keep your eyes on the front. You keep your eyes on your pets back there or your kids or whatever's going on. And one reason why you probably get a trail sport is for the panoramic moonroof because the EXL does not have that. Anything below this does not have the panoramic moonroof. So I'm going to open the shade for right now because I'm not opening the moonroof. 
and the shade goes all the way back to the second row. So if you want to let in a little bit more light in here, you definitely can. It opens up the interior, especially with all this black interior. Even the headline is all black. So it kind of gives you a sense of space. And then you can open the moonroof too, but I'm not trying to drown in here. But it'll open this portion right here, which is cool. So this is this won't open, but at least you get the whole light. And actually, I'm going to leave it like that let in a little bit more light in here. Let's check your, your, uh, your visors. So you have a light. This is not LED. It's a regular bulb, but at least they give you a light and a mirror. Your passengers, too. Perfect. And then I'm going to hurry up and jump out of here and run to the second row and show you guys the second row. All right. We jumped into the second row. Check the door real fast. So you have peasant blockers in here for the sunshade. That's cool. This kind of mimics the front. I like the dark black. I never noticed this is like a kind of a smoked dark black. That's actually really nice. And you do have storage there, bottle holder storage, more storage down there. You got speakers and a tweeter on the door as well. Now, sitting in the second row, so I was telling you about the controls back here. You can lock these buttons so you don't want your kids to keep messing with the controls. That's why you have the lock button up front. You have air vents back here, which is nice. And then you have auto climbing control for the third row, on and off. You can change the modes, fan speeds, and you can set what, exactly what temperature you want. Down here, you do have an AC 115 volt uh, outlet, which is cool. And then you have two USB-Cs charging ports back here as well. If you want heated back seats, you have to get an Elite only touring them and have heated back seats. Even though the previous pilot did, but they changed up the whole lineup. Behind the driver's seat, you have a map pocket with a smartphone holder. And behind the passenger, map pocket, smartphone holder. And this is a captain's configuration only on the trail sport. So it's only a seven passenger. If you want a bench, you need to go up to a touring or go down to an EXL or an Elite or any other level. But this is seven passenger only. So you cannot get a bench for the second row in the trail sport. And you'd have armrest because it is captain's seats, which are cool. And this portion right here is just, you can step on it, but there's no storage or anything like that. These seats do move forward and back. So you have a bar. And I love how Honda has the, these uh, exposed latches for car seats to make it really easy. You don't have to dig your finger in there to find the, the latches. It's all right there. And the seat design, you have the arm stitching all around there as well, just like the front seats. It's just a nice interior. If you don't like black interior, though, you, you're probably not going to like the trail sport. Like I said, this led in a little bit light, but it's very, uh, it's a lot of black with orange if you wanted a lighter interior. Since we do have the captain seats, I can just walk right through to the third row. So let me move the, the mask over. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna walk right back here. All right, so now I'm sitting in the third row. Let's walk right through the middle. If you wanted to get to the third row, there's a button. There's one button right here. There's one more on the side. You push it and it'll automatically fold up so you can get back here. And that same button is on the side when you're entering the vehicle as well. But sitting back here, with the seat back let me get back here all the way you still have some um room back here i'm 510 so you don't really want to put adults back here but if you need to an emergency they will be fine and you can see the cockpit up there the panoramic roof just letting a lot of light this is a good example now trail sports will only come with the rubber off-season mats there's no carpet if you get a any other level if you get a touring elite Every other trim level in the pilot gets carpet mats. Trail support comes standard with the rubber mats. So that's a nice touch to keep in here, you know, pretty clean because Honda's assuming you're going to, this, this, this interior should get nasty is what Honda's assuming. That's why you get the, the fake leather, the more durable fake leather and the rubber mats already. But sitting back here, let's see what you get. So we got cup holders. We have air vents. And this is nice because the MDX don't give you no air vents in the third row. You get a USB-C back here. And some tie downs that when the seats are folded down and you have led lighting back here as well no sunshade on the third window same thing on this side cup holders air vent usb-c and you have the the seat belt for whoever sits in the in the middle because this is three passenger back here so you can have someone sit in the middle but it gotta be somebody skinny though but pretty easy all right so let's jump out of here and let's make a run for it for the um for the trunk but look how easy it is to get out, though. So you can see, it gives you plenty of room. The Odyssey still has way more third row space if you need third row space. But you know what? It is what it is. So let's take a look at the tailgate. So it is power. 
And with the third row folded up, you can see you have plenty of space back here. Now this pilot has a protection package, so you can add this cargo tray if you wanted to, and it's foldable. So if you fold down the third row, actually, let me actually do that. You really gotta do that with, with uh, two hands though. So you gotta pull it and push forward at the same time and it will drop down. I know I have the floor mats on this one, so and it's not gonna be fully flat. And with a cargo tray, you just fold it up forward and it'll protect the back of your seats, which is cool. So you do have storage under here. Now on the Trail Sport, this floor is not as, um, as deep because you have a full size spare tire. If you get any other trim level, you're gonna have a deeper floor in here, especially the Touring and Elite, because the Touring and Elite has a removable middle seat to turn it into a captain's. But if you take out the middle seat in the Touring or the Elite, you don't have these armrests on the seats though. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But it'll be a lot more uh, deeper in here. But if you don't care about having more storage back here and you prefer to, if you prefer to have a full size spare tire, this is definitely the way to go. You have some storage over here as well. And then your tools for your jacket and everything is under the floor. Just unlock it there. A little bit of storage over here. And then you have a power outlet here. And this button is blank because on the, I believe the Touring in the Elite has a walk away close feature. That's, that's the button, that's where it goes. But you don't get that on the trail support. But really nice. You can see a wide opening, plenty of space. The load floor is not too high. So it's easy to take things in and out. But you're really gonna love this guy. As, if you don't do too much off-roading, but you just want something, you just want a rugged look, Trail Sport is definitely the way to go. And if you do off-roading, Trail Sport is definitely the way to go. So you have the Diffuse Sky Blue Pearl over there, and you have this guy over here. And while it's running, let me show you guys the LED lights because Honda redid the LED lights and it's way brighter than the previous pilot. Like, look, look at that, that looks nice. Actually, I need to take a picture to get a, get a thumbnail. Honda made like a performance pilot I'll probably go with that if I needed a third row SUV. If I don't mind spending about 50 grand, then I would definitely go on this guy. And actually, speaking of the price, a lot of people be complaining about, I don't show the window sticker. Like, look at this thing. This thing has tint on, you can't even see it. The MSRP is $50,630. It has a $465 protection package. So this total is 510.95.07. Now I know a lot of Honda dealerships is adding like $1,000 to the to mark up 2,000, or they put like $8,000 worth of accessories. Um, this one has a protection package and that's pretty much it. But let's take a, another look before we get into the trim walk. The rain kind of died down a little bit so I could be out here and not get soaked, but. Oh yeah, LED turn signals on side mirrors. Forgot to even show you guys that. But yeah, I love the radiant red. This is one of my favorite colors because it's not loud, you know, it's not loud and it's not burgundy. Actually really nice. I still like the diffuse sky blue pearl, but Honda just gave this to every YouTuber out there. Everyone reviewed this color. So I try to show you guys a complete different color. A color you probably won't really see too often because there are some options that the trail sport come into. All right, but now that we did that, let's jump into the trim walk. I have the 2024 Honda Pilot trim walk pulled up and this is gonna show the features between all the trim levels. So you have the LX, you have the Sport, EXL, the Trail Sport, like I said, is an update, well, upgrade, update, is an upgrade from the Sport. And the Touring is an upgrade from the EXL. So when you go from the Sport trim, you go from Sport to Trail Sport. And then when you get the EXL, so the EXL is an upgrade from the Sport, it goes from uh, EXL to Touring. So that's why the Touring has some features that the Trail Sport don't have, and the Trail Sport have features that the touring don't have because they're not upgrades from each other. So the first thing um, you're gonna see is the trail sport will give you the IVTM4 all wheel drive system. And the reason why they put this here because trail sport only comes in all wheel drive. The sport, you have the option between two wheel drive or the, this all wheel drive. Well, a little bit different, but this all wheel drive system, but the trail sport all wheel drive only, that's pretty much it. Also, the Trail Sport is going to give you seven modes. So, normal, econ, snow, tow, sport, trail, and sand. Now, I mentioned in the video that the Trail Sport and the Elite get the trail mode, trail logic. But I believe that's only for the Trail Sport. So, I know you guys remembered earlier in the video, I posted a picture and it kind of showed you the difference between the all-wheel drive system and then the trail torque all-wheel drive system. 
It's a little bit different, but I think that's only for the trail support. I think it's unique to, for the trail support. I don't think Elite have this uh, trail mode. Also, the trail support is going to give you underbody skid plates, so under the engine and fuel tank that no other trim level has, which is, to be honest, I'm actually really uh, shocked that Honda added kind of things like that because the previous Pilot trail support, what it really was was i think it was a was it an exl with a few more features or was it i think it was either touring and it looked rugged or it was like i think it was an exl and it looked rugged or something i can't remember but for this generation of pilot they really upgraded the trail support and really gave it some off-road goodies one thing that i'm also surprised that honda threw in in the trail support is the class 3 trailer hitch so like I said in the video, you don't get wired uh, standard, but they give you a hitch that's already on there. So that's actually really nice. So if, they, if you are someone that um, you have a bike hitch or mostly bike hitch or you can pull a little trailer or whatever, you don't have to worry about adding anything else, adding a um, towing package or anything. You already have a hitch on there. You have the panoramic moon roof. So that starts on trail sport and up. The so trail sport touring and elite are the only trim loads that have the panoramic moon roof. If you get EXL, Sport, and LX, you get no moonroof at all. Just, just roof. <laughs> Pretty much that's it. Now, you do get a trail watch camera on the trail sport that the sport doesn't have. And that's what give you the um the 360 camera. But Honda calls it trail watch. And you also get it with the camera washer up front. The heated wiper zone. Showed you guys that in the video. And then yeah, you get the 18-inch shark gray alloy wheels. I love these wheels. These are the best looking wheels ever on a pilot, like I said in the video, like 100%. And I, so it was raining, so I did skip a few things. So, for example, I didn't go, go over the, the tire size. So you get 265, 60, 18s, all terrain tires, which looks way better than the 22 pilot, 22? Yeah, the 22 pilot trail sport versus this trail sport. Way better tires, way better rims. And you do get an inch greater ground clearance than all the other trim levels. Two position memory seats for driver's seats and side mirrors. You get the heated gloss black power side mirrors with integrated turn signals, reverse gear tilt down. And what this guy here pretty much is when you put the pilot into reverse, if you have the side mirror switch to L and you put it in reverse, then the, the left side mirror will fold down to show you the curb. If you leave the, the mirror switch to R, which is right, and you put it to reverse, the right one will flip down. If you leave it in the middle, then none of them flip down. So, the handy feature for when you're parking. And the gloss black door handles. You have the programmable power tailgate. It's a huge upgrade from um, the Sport. Front and rear parking sensors, heater leather wrapped steering wheel, acoustic glass windshield. So, this just makes the interior a little bit more quieter than the Sport. And you get the durable synthetic leather uh, seating with trail orange stitching. So this is what I was telling you about how you kind of have like synthetic leather where it's a little more durable because Honda assume you're going to, I guess I actually all this in the video already. Um, you do have the second row captain's chairs and that's the only configuration you can get in trail sport. No bench. You have the built in sunshades and this is a long list. Not, I'm over really here reading everything. The auto dimming rear view mirror, home link. You don't get the bold sound system in the trail sport, only touring and elite to get a 12 speaker. So you get a nine speaker, 245 wide. But if you go up to a touring, then you get the 12 speaker. How much wide is it? Did they even tell you on here? Let's see. Uh, they don't, but it's a 12 speaker premium sound, pretty much. You get the nine inch color display, touchscreen display, Sirius, HD, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, wireless phone charger, the USB C's. Um, power outlet, cabin talk, you get the power, oh, the trail sport badging and the all weather floor mat. So coming from a sport to a trail sport, it's a huge jump and I'm going to actually go and build a trail sport to show you guys the pricing. And that's why the pricing between a touring, like a, I think a, I think a front wheel drive touring and a trail sport is like very similar in pricing. If I'm not mistaken, but we're going to jump into building one. So we'll jump into the 24 pilots. So you have the whole line up here. So you see how the trail sport is 48.8 and the touring is 46.9. Now this is for front wheel drive. If you get an all wheel drive touring, it's a little bit more 
than this guy, but the pricing is very similar, but I explain why. So we're gonna build a trail support. Let's look into the color. Actually, let me show you guys the gas mileage. So you're looking at 19 city, 25 highway, 21 combined, and the 3.5 V6. And then Honda is gonna explain here that, let's see, 20, 285 horsepower, 10 speed automatic transmission. Um, do they say, okay, just kind of basic on the, on the motor there. So let's gather that guy, go to the colors. I'm not gonna show you guys the interior color because it's black in all of them. So you have crystal black pearl, lunar silver metallic. I haven't seen a silver trail sport yet. And then if you go up to the diffuse sky blue pearl, it's 455 more. Platinum white pearl, 455 more. Radiant red metallic two, 455 more and sonic gray. So, so far this year, I've seen a handful of the blues of I've sold actually I sold a sonic gray and I've seen a few sonic grays. Just the first red one. Um, we had a black one. I haven't seen a silver one yet. So I've seen all the colors, but silver. Of the trail support blacks everything out no matter what color you get it it just looks good in my opinion so we're gonna go to the red one and i know i went over the msrp on the car but i'm gonna show you just the regular msrp base price is forty eight thousand eight hundred. then you pay 455 for the radiant red color and you're looking at 1375 for destination and handling fifty thousand six thirty is msrp home with honda service pass two year or 24,000 miles, whichever comes first. Free oil change, oil filter, tire rotation, multi point inspection. All right, so let's go back and kind of see. Look at the wheels. I I would even change the. Oh, so they keep it 18. That's cool. So you can change it to those, but to be honest, I would just keep these. It looks like the same thing. It's just silver on the outside and then the bronze. Bronze is okay, but I'll keep the. The regular wheels that you have there look at packages. So remember when you buy a Honda pilot from Honda, like from the factory can have one of these packages on there. So you have function, you have HBD black package, HBD plus black package, bronze package, HBD bronze package plus towing package. I don't know why they even throw that on there. That's standard. Oh, because when you buy an EXL, you can get one. That's uh, a captain, so a seven passenger or or eight passenger in the EXO. I guess that's why they have to have this on the website. I have no idea. But yeah, so MSRP may vary because you can probably get one of these and it will have a package already on it from Honda. Or you can add a cargo side. Okay, so like a cargo protection package. Let me see, that thing comes with, oh, just all the feedback protectors, cargo barrier, and a cargo side panel. Okay, that makes sense. And then let's look at accessories. So your basic stuff, um, bike attachments, body side molding, crossbars, uh, decal hood. I'm not gonna go over all of these, but these are stuff that you can add on there. You guys could probably tell from my voice that it is, it is late, it is uh, super late. I'm not only I recorded this thing in the rain for you guys, I'm up late night editing this video for you guys. So, so you know, I appreciate everyone in here. Look, they put tent on there. But um, let's go to interior. So here's the cargo uh, barrier. So this is cool for if you have pets, but I don't think you can. I don't think you can use the third row if you have this in there though. So keep that in mind. And you have the cargo cover. I like that the cargo cover sits behind the third row. Pretty cool. I don't know why I say pretty cool for everything. It just it's just a thing that I say. But um, yeah, cargo tray, folding mats. First aid kit, the logo pattern project. That's cool that they add that on there. And then seat covers. They finally got seat covers for the front seats. So that's actually pretty cool. And for electronics, engine block either. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end everything here. Drop a comment below if I missed anything. Um, Drop a comment below if you're interested in buying one or maybe you passed on it, why you passed on it, why you don't like it, why you rather get a tour on your lead. Let me know, let's talk about it. Um, I'm gonna end everything here. I appreciate you guys for watching the whole video and just staying in tune. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.